So we're going to begin lying down on our back with our knees and feet hip distance apart and we're just going to find our neutral spine position. So to do this you want to just rock your pelvis backwards and forwards a few times. This is really good to get some mobility in the lower back and pelvis region. So you want to rest equally in the middle so that you've just got your natural curve underneath here and your pelvis is level across the top. We're going to start with some bridging exercises. These are great for mobilizing your spine, wakening up your core and wakening up the glutes. So from here, we're going to lightly engage your core. So just below the hip bones, gently draw those muscles inwards about 30% or so. We're going to roll through your pelvis bone by bone, lifting up your spine until we're in our bridge position. And then we're going to gently work our way back down again, bone by bone. So we're going to roll through, drawing in through your core, pressing those hips towards the ceiling, keeping the pelvis level and then working bone by bone as we come back down again. We're going to exhale as we roll through your bridge, inhale to hold and exhale as you come back down again. So let's just do a few like these, really working on that control and that mobility through your spine. Breathing out as we move, inhale to rest, exhale rolling through and gently back down again. So like I said, these are great for getting a good workout through the whole body. You're getting lots of different areas working and it's really nice to do it through the movement. Okay, you can put your hands on your hips like I'm doing. If it helps you just check that you're keeping that pelvis really steady, get a buttock squeeze at the top here. And then as you come down, using those core muscles to draw inwards. Okay, let's take two more. Breathing out, let's inhale to hold. And breathing out as we come back down again. On this next one, we're gonna stay up near the top. So hold your pelvis nice and level. We're gonna take a dip to one side and then squeeze it to the top. Take a dip to the other side and squeeze to the top. Let's exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. So let's keep doing these dips now, but keeping your knees level, keeping the legs as steady as we can so it's all working through that pelvic and glute control as we are. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Get a real good squeeze to the top and down. Squeeze, take two more. Last one, roll yourself down bone by bone until you come back to your neutral position. We're going to bring the knees and feet together now. We're gonna take it into an exercise called hip twist just to warm up these oblique muscles a little bit more. So take your arms a little bit wider, okay? Glue those knees and engage through your core. So we're gonna roll the knees over to one side as far as you feel comfortable that you can control and then use your core here. So engage through your center, come back through the middle, okay? So we're not just throwing the legs side to side. Once we get there, you are engaging through your core and bringing it back to the middle, okay? So try and keep the top half really nice and relaxed so that it's just that core that's working as we go. Exhaling as we move to the side, use your core, inhale, come back again. If that's working well for you, we're gonna add a leg extension when we get here. So extend this leg out, use that core, bring it back again. Rolling off to the side, working through that core, extend, bring it back. So this just adds a little bit more weight, a little bit more effort, so that you have to really use that core to come back again. And it might not feel like much at the moment, um, but it really is challenging those oblique muscles that little bit more. Okay, let's just take two more of our hip twist. And one more. So extending that leg out, using that core 
and resting back here. We're going to part the knees, just come back to our neutral position once again. So make sure that you are level across the hips here. You've just got your natural curve underneath you. So we're going to get a little bit deeper into these abdominals now with some abdominal prep exercises. So we're going to interlace your fingertips and pop them behind the back of your head and relax your shoulders down. So we're going to take an inhale and as we exhale, you're going to curl up. So you're looking over the top of the knees and then we lower back down again. So as we come up, I'm not coming up any higher than here. My shoulder blades are still on the floor and then I lower back down again. Exhale to lift, look over those knees and inhale down. It's really important you do the exhale on the lift here because that makes our core muscles work more efficiently. And it's also much better if I was to inhale, my stomach would bulge outwards and basically fill up with air, which is not what we want with these. So we're breathing out, breathing in. You should feel that strength building across that middle as you lift. Your neck is nice and long and your eye gaze just looking over the top of those knees. Let's take two more and stay lifted on this next one. So once you get up here, we're going to extend those arms out. So we're just reaching down towards our toes here, keeping that core gently drawn inwards. We're going to pulse those hands up and down for our hundreds. So this is a great endurance exercise and you should be starting to feel that burning just a little bit more as we go. So we're pulsing the hands as if we're splashing puddles. We're breathing in we're breathing out. Keep those shoulders relaxed, keep the tension out of the top half. Just focus on working across that middle region. We're going to go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest yourselves down. Good work. Let's just take a well-deserved stretch to mobilize. So bring those knees back together like we did for hip twist. Spread your arms this time at 90 degree angles if you can to get a good stretch through your chest. The knees are glued together. You're going to roll as far as you can this time and turn your head the other way. So keeping both shoulders on the floor, take a big breath out and just relax into that position. And then coming back through the middle, we'll do the same to the other side. So this is great for getting a stretch through the whole spine the chest and the hips and just breathing out, relax into that position. Coming back through the middle, we're going to come all the way over onto one side now. So take yourself around. If you have a small towel or cushion, you can use this for some head support here. Um, don't worry if you don't have that is just optional. So we're going to do an exercise called the clam, which works on our side core work, but also on our glute strength. So bring your knees together, bring your feet roughly in line with your bottom and your back. And then from there, we're going to lift those feet into the air. Draw this top hip down so that you've got space underneath here. Now that just means our core is activated um, already rather than being here and being slumped. So draw it down engage through your core and we're going to open this top knee and then we lower it back down again. Okay, if you're a wee bit wobbly, hand out here for some support or if not, hand on this top hip. So as we're doing this, we're looking to get as much height through the top knee as you can and come down as smoothly as we can. So we're going to exhale as we lift high and inhale as we lower. Breathing out, lift high, breathing in lower, watching that we still have this lower gap, making sure we are still engaged through our center and we should be feeling that burn in this top hip as we go. Chest is still open and wide. Lift, push to the top, smoothly back down again. Breathing out, breathing in. Good, okay, let's just keep going with those working into those hips just a little bit more. This is great if you are sat down a lot at the moment um, because these bottom muscles get weak really quickly when we sit on them all day. So it's great just to activate with our clam exercises. So we're going to take three more. 
three, two, and one more. Hold this next one here. We're gonna take it a little bit further. So from here, we're gonna point this leg out straight, bring it back, lower it down. So we do clam, leg extension, bring it back, lower down. Clam, stretch, point your toes, bring it back and down. Whilst we are still keeping that control at our trunk here. So we're keeping this length down both sides of our waist. We are feeling like that belt is a little bit tight around our waist as we're holding this control. So we're going to lift, stretch out, come back, lower down. Good, we're gonna take three and back all the way down smoothly, two and back and down, one more and stretch and bring it down, good. Okay, from here, we are just gonna come up into a seated position. We're gonna take um, our seated mermaid stretch just to lengthen out the sides of our body, mobilize our spines a little bit better. So sit right up on top of your bottom bones, try and keep them down on the floor. And we're just gonna float this top arm up and over, get as much height through as we can. Take a breath in and breathe out and then come up and over to the other side. So come over as far over to that side as we can. Take a breath. We'll do one more to each side. So coming over nice and far. And back one last time. And then we're just gonna stretch out that hip that we were working. So the leg that was on the top, we're gonna take it into a swan stretch. So to do this, have the leg underneath you like an upside down V. Stretch this leg out and try to turn it down so that you get a hip flexor stretch as well. You're gonna bring your chest over the top of this knee and melt over the top. And then once we're there, we're just gonna gently push up, lift tall through your chest and then melt back down again. Lifting up nice and high and then melt down one last time. And once you're down there, we're gonna stay, but we're gonna come a little bit further round towards the shin and toes. Exhale once you're there. Okay, gently release from there. We're gonna lie down on this side now to do our clams this way around. So bring yourself into a side lying position. You want your feet in line with that bottom and back once again and lift those feet into the air. Lengthen through the trunk on both sides so that you are lifted on that lower waist area and engage your core. We're gonna open that top knee and lower back down again. Get as much height through that knee as we can, smoothly back down again. So with every movement, you want to feel like you're working from your core, okay? So you want to feel that connection through the middle we are exhaling as we lift and inhaling back down again. Gluing those feet together as your pivot point. And if you're a bit unsteady, have that hand out here for support. Good, let's just keep going with those. Okay, try to relax this bottom hand as well. It's really easy to build tension in the arm and the lower half of the body as you're doing this to take the emphasis away from here. So really feel it working on this top bottom. Breathing out, breathing in. We're gonna take three more, two more, and hold this last one here. We're gonna come into our extension, come back and lower down. So we lift, extend, come back, and lower down. So you're looking at as much height and then really point this leg long, bring it back and down. So thinking of good control, good extension so that we're using those muscles all the way through. Just being aware not to drop that lower waist so that we've got good trunk and core work. Exhaling all the way through and inhaling as we come back. And the breathing really does just help focus your movement. 
because often you might want to go too fast with these and you really miss out on that extra work that your core is having to do. So we want to make sure that it's working correctly with every movement. So we're going to take our last three to go. And back, keep the height in those knees. Two. And one more. Good, bring that leg all the way down. Bring yourself up into sitting. We're gonna come into another seated exercise um, before we stretch this off from here. So we're gonna come into our dumb waiter, which is really good for upper body posture and stability. So bring your hands to your side, relax the shoulders down. We're gonna open the arms out and bring them back to the center. So you wanna keep a small gap between your elbows and your waist as you go. Keep your head lengthened right up towards the ceiling. Exhaling out, inhaling back. One more like this, and then we're gonna take it a little bit further. So as we open, we're gonna lengthen through the fingertips, bring it back in for our Cleopatra. Reach out, draw the shoulder blades back so that we're getting that good posture, good chest opening as we go here. Breathing out, reach long, Breathing in, come back. Breathing out, breathing in. We're just gonna take three more. Three, two, and one. Bring it back in again, good. From here, we're gonna take it into our swan stretch for the other hip. So upside down V, stretch this leg out, turn it round if you can, and then melt your chest over the top of that knee. Feel that stretch on the underneath hip, and then we're gonna lift up high through the chest, and then melt back down again. Lift up high, and melt down again. Stay down, walk towards your shin or toes and just encourage yourself to get a little bit lower if you can. Breathing out, just encouraging that hip to relax underneath you as much as you can. Okay, so let's come up from there. We're gonna take it down onto our fronts now to do some work for the back of the body, which often gets weak um, when we're sitting bent over all day. So we're gonna rest our foreheads, if you've got one, on a towel or cushion. If not, just make sure your nose is comfortable. We're going to take breaststroke as our first exercise. So let your shoulders rest really heavy. And then from here, you're gonna draw your shoulder blades together and down, reach towards your toes, and then relax all the way back down again. So we breathe out, reach for your toes, hold, and then lower back down. If that feels good, we're gonna add in a forehead lift to here, and then back down again. So as we're doing this lifting, you still want to have your core engaged underneath you. You want to try and avoid clenching the buttocks. So make it all about your, your core, and make it all about your shoulder blades and your upper body. So really trying to strengthen that upper back posture as we do these. Let's just take three, two. Let's hold this last one. We're gonna go for some endurance. So keeping that core active, we're gonna pulse the back of the arms. Keep your eye gaze right down towards your mat. Breathing in, breathing out. We've got five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Take those hands out underneath you. We're gonna come into our cobra just to mobilize through our spine. So gently peel your body up off the ground and then lower back down again. Take a breath out, lift, eye gaze out in front of you. Get as much height as you're comfortable with and back down. Once more, let's lift. From there, shift the hands a little bit closer, curl the toes, engage your core, push yourself up, come all the way down for a child's pose. So sink your chest down as far as you're comfortable. 
Okay, we're gonna come on to all fours now just to do a little bit more strength work here um, for the whole body this time. So rest your shoulders just above your wrists and have your knees just above, uh, just underneath your hips, sorry. And then you just want to get your back into a good position. So a little bit of mobility here just to loosen off and then rest hopefully where everything is in our neutral position. Engage your core underneath. We're gonna come into some swimming. So we're gonna slide the opposite arm and leg out and then we're gonna lift, tap, bring it back. Slide out, engaging your core, lift, tap and come back. Get a good stretch, lift and back. Now the hand that you leave on the floor, you want to be really pushing yourself up from the ground with that hand as best as you can. Eye gaze, just a little bit out in front, looking down. Good, okay, let's stretch. Let's hold this next one. So really push up from here, pull up from your core, lengthen that fingertips away from your toes. Hold it here, breathing in, breathing out and bring it back. Same to the other side, stretch out, lift. Pull up through that core, push yourself away. Extend fingertips away from toes. Hold it here and come back. Let's keep going, but this time we're just gonna reach straight out. No sliding them out. Just stretch away and back. Good, think about creating that length through the body, which is what we really want, is as much length as we can. Let's take two more. Exhaling, stretch, inhale. One more, stretch out and back. Good, let's just take a child's pose. Get the weight off your wrists and shoulders. And give your shoulders a little bit of a roll. We're gonna do a nice stretch here called thread the needle. So come back onto all fours. This is fab for mobilizing the whole spine. So we're gonna slide this arm underneath and then we're gonna open it up to the ceiling. Slide through, get low to the mat and then stretch to the ceiling. Let's take one more and lift. Changing sides, let's thread under and up to the ceiling and down lift and last one and lift okay let's bring ourselves into a seated position we're going to finish here with some roll-ups just to train our posture position here so the arms are out to front the shoulders are really nice and relaxed head is length and tall Engage through your core. We're just gonna gently roll off of our bottom bones and then sit ourselves back up tall. So as I roll, you are rounding your spine and then we are stacking it up tall. Breathing out, breathing in. So imagine you're holding a really big ball in your hands, a big beach ball perhaps, and you're keeping that width through the collarbones and chest. Breathing out. Breathing in. If you're feeling good, you can start to roll a little bit further if you've got the control to do so. Breath out, roll and back up tall. So getting into that rounded position, but then using your muscles to correct it every single time. We're gonna add in some arms if it feels good to. So this time, as we come back, we're gonna lengthen up tall. Breathing out and breathing in. So try to really keep that width through your chest, lengthen through the top of the head. And lift. We're gonna take three more. Three. And tall. Two. Using that core nice and strongly. And one more. And tall. Good, okay, let's just lengthen out both of those legs. Sit up really nice and tall. 
take a stretch tall. We're just gonna take a forward reach down towards those ankles. Feel that stretch on the backs of your legs and then gently bring your spine up. Length and tall, inhale. Exhale, come forwards, lengthen towards those toes and then stack yourself back up. Take one more, let's lengthen, come forwards, reach and back up tall. From here, we're just gonna pop ourselves onto our knees and we're just gonna open out the front of the hips here for a stretch. So we're gonna take one leg out in front, take yourself up tall and then just gently bring the weight forward, keeping the height through here, pressing this hip down towards the floor and widening through your chest. Take the opposite hand to the floor, stretch this arm up to the ceiling and then relax from there. We're just gonna do that on the other side. Stretch this leg forward, bring the hips forward, keep the trunk up tall. Take that hand down to the floor, stretch up to the ceiling. And then come back from there, bring that foot back. Let's just take ourselves into some nice big shoulder rolls. Take both hands to the front, look down and push down, stretch to the ceiling and come down. Let's do one more. Look down and push down, stretch to the ceiling, inhale and exhale. And that's us guys, I hope you enjoyed that today. I hope that helps um, keep your Pilates going at home when you're working at a desk and I'll hopefully see you back soon. If you liked the video, I would love it if you could like it, subscribe to the channel and maybe share it with others who might benefit. Okay, 